It is a very long time since the devil produced his mirror, and not even he could have foreseen the mischief it would create. He made it as a joke, of course, and gave it the power to make beautiful things ugly and everything evil attractive. <laughs> kind and honorable people also <laughs> suffered and became repulsive and horrific. <laughs> Anyone harboring charitable and considerate thoughts would see their expressions change and feel their hearts turn to ice. To the devil and the trolls at the troll school where he taught as headmaster, the mirror seemed a miracle. And in no time at all, there wasn't a person or place left that hadn't been reflected and distorted in it. the demons felt that they were seeing what people were really like for the first time. At last, they decided to fly it up to heaven and reflect the face of God himself. But the nearer they got, the louder they laughed. And the more they laughed, the more the mirror quivered. Until they could no longer keep their grip and it fell. Some of those pieces are flying about today or have sneaked their way into smaller mirrors, or windows, or ornaments, or anything made of glass. There are many elemental creatures waiting to take advantage of the devil's mirror, one more fearful than the rest. to peer straight through me, like, like lightning. I can't see anything. Blink. Well, it's going off a bit, actually. But it was just in the corner, here. And here, too, in my heart. But that's impossible. The white bees are swarming. What's that? The white bees. They're swarming now again, all right. We'll have a white Christmas after all. What's the old faggot mean by the bees swarming? She means it's snowing again, I expect. Kay, what's got into you? You've been funny all evening. It's going to get worse. I know it will. I'll go and get you a warm drink. Oh, lovely. And if there's anything else you should find out there that you could add to it, I'd be very grateful. Must keep the chill out. Did you get many things while you're out, Gran? <laughs> That's telling. Did you? Don't think she can hear without a blooming ear trumpet. Oh, you're a smart one. You are, to be sure. You'll go far in the world. North Pole wouldn't be too far for me. Anyhow, she's out and about. And that's a worry. Oh, where are my glasses? Who's out and about? By the Snow Queen, of course. I saw her. You saw who? Sorry, Gran. The Snow Queen? Certainly. She was in the centre of the swarm. There's always a queen at the centre of the swarm, you know. What a load of old rubbish. I'm not hanging about here. I'm going upstairs. I don't know what the matter's with him. He's not usually like this. We were having such fun out there in the snow. Then suddenly it was all horrid. So he's still staying the night there in that cave of yours. It's Christmas Eve, Kay. Don't you feel excited? I do. Let's go to bed now and talk about tomorrow. We might be completely snowed up. 
then nobody would be able to move out of the house for weeks and weeks. Kay, that's my Christmas present to you. Is it? <laughs> now then, Gerda, what's four plus five plus half plus three quarters plus 923? Quick, what is it? Oh, how could you? It's quite easy. 933 and 7 twelfths. Oh, you poor Rose. You must be the last Rose of summer. You shouldn't be out in this weather. Oh, well, if you feel that way about it, let's pull it up. Kay! Don't do that! Blimey, I'm going out! You're not to! You're not to! You look so cold. Come into my cloak. We've a long way to go. You feel so cold. There. I shan't give you any more kisses. Or I might kiss you. Solve the puzzle. Solve the puzzle. Solve. Solve. Moon, do you know where Care's gone? Do you? Have you seen Kay? If you have, please tell me. You can have these if you give him back to me. I didn't show them far enough. 